What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy. Today I'm going to be sharing some Fluttermane highlights from my GC2 run. This Fluttermane gets a speed boost in the sun and then just blows things up with Terra Fairy moves. Pretty normal Fluttermane, honestly. The secret sauce with this is if you put it next to either Torkoal or Farigarath and go for Helping Hand Terra Fairy Moonblast, you can knock out non AV Incineroars and just basically anything else that doesn't resist as well. That's the secret tech. That's what this team is made for, just blowing stuff up. So if you do end up trying it, try that move. Anyway, let's get on with these battles. Ooh, a Clefable and an Orangaroo? Torkoal, Blood Moon, Fluttermane, Water Pond. Uh, what's my answer to this? They've got follow they've got two follow me mons. I think I need to stop Trick Room. Like Torkoal does fine in Trick Room, but they have their own Torkoal. I don't know if I want to play those games. But my best way to stop their Trick Room is double spread moves, which is honestly Flutter Main Torkoal. Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam plus Eruption. But if they just put out, out the bear and like hyper voice. I can't do anything. Oh, but if they do that, I could just Terra Fairy Helping Hand Moonblast into the bear. And then if for some reason they protect it, I can erupt. Okay. Yeah, that's the lead. This is the lead. What else I have to use, I don't know. There's no priority to block. They don't have priority blocking, so I could do Ogre Pond Rillaboom just to have Grassy Glides on deck in case this plan A doesn't work. It'd be nice to have Bolt to take an eruption, but I don't know if I can afford that. Oh, nice. How, how do you get up there? That's cool. Cool pick. Oh, and then you cut your hair. Okay. All right, it's the lead I expected. I don't think that thing puts on any pressure to Torkoal, so I think Gleam plus Eruption totally works. The problem is, I think the Terra Fire is a bigger boost than the Terra Fairy. But I don't want a Terra Fire, I want a Terra Fairy. I think this will still knock out. Plus, if I terrify the Torkoal and they do attack, then I'm in trouble. And I think it's pretty likely they don't even want to set Trick Room now, because, like, I just showed them Torkoal. They could just... Moonblast instruct Moonblast or something? I don't know what this combo would do. Seems pretty passive, honestly. They have a Terra. Fire a Rangaroo would get you Trick Room. Water Clefable would get you to still have a Clefable next turn, I guess. No, and they just protect a Rangaroo. Gotcha. I wonder what your Clefable has to do. That does over half. Mm, but you have a berry. I guess I could helping hand boost it next turn. Assuming Torkoal doesn't get a good eruption off somehow. Cosmic power? Oh, I don't care about that. I'm gonna gleam and I'm gonna. It's still in my best interest that they don't get Trick Room up. Even though I still don't think they're gonna try, it's still in my best interest to stop them. In case they do. Because the way they win this is they bring in their own Torkoal and they win speed ties. 
Clefable lived. Good job, Clefable. Gonna get another cosmic power. And then what, a moonlight? Heal all the way back up? That could be so annoying. Stored power into Torkoal? It's moonlight. Oh, jeez. You're a problem now. Uh-oh. Good thing I got two grass types in the back. But that doesn't actually knock out a Rangaroo. Wow. I wonder if Helping Hand Gleam gets it. That's what I want to go for. It, I don't think it will. I think it'll be 1 HP again. But if this can be enough to do it, then I should. Yeah, you just protect. That's okay. This doesn't gleam blocks you from doing any more instructions. Please. Yes! Bye, Clefable. No crit? Good. No crit. That's just how it works. I got you. This sun's gonna be running out soon, but I don't know if I actually need it. Oh, there's their Torkoal. Which is a little bit scary. Uh, if I Dazzling Gleam them, there's no way they'll be in any healthy position to erupt. So then I can just click my Earth Power. Now they could have like Overheat or Heat Wave. It's entirely possible I lose Fluttermane now, but Fluttermane's gotten two and a half knockouts. It's fine. And I go first, meaning they are min speed. Of course they would be, but they're gone. Winning speed ties is nice sometimes. And still more sun, okay. Blood Moon Pair. Is there any reason that I should swap out to reset my specs? No. <clears throat> yeah. Helping Hand Dazzling Gleam. <clears throat> and they're staying in it! So they're not even protecting to get rid of the sun, okay. Bye! Bye, bear. All right, uh, that was kind of weird. Cool card, though. All right, Bolt, Urshifu, Ensign, Chen Pao, Amoongus, and Rillaboom. Something in me is screaming, use Fluttermane, but both of their grass types are annoying to Fluttermane. But something is telling me, Fluttermane. Something else is telling me, use Torkoal. Just sweep them with that. Uh, I would if I bring Fluttermane, I'll need for Rigoraf in the back. I could just Flutter Torkoal with the sauce, pull that out, and Ogre Pond last. Uh, if I lose Fluttermane too quickly, I would then struggle a bit against Bolt. I'm gonna have to not lose Fluttermane too quickly. That's just the plan. Lead Fluttermane, and then trade positively. But trading, mm. Oh, that's a good card. I like her. I think she was a good character. Okay, who do you got? Ooh. Ooh, I don't hate this. I should be able... I should be okay here. Yeah, you get your protosynthesis, that's fine. Uh, worst case is like, what, Snarl? I should be fine to throw the sauce at Incineroar. Oh man, I really need to get rid of Incineroar. Nothing here likes it. 
Send the sauce. Incineroar's way. And then deal with Bolt later. Bolt might protect. Bolt might defensively Terra. I'm a little- I'd be really annoyed if Bolt was defensive Terra, Assault Vest, Snarl. Because then turn two, I'm not knocking it. That does seem to be what they're doing, at least the Terra. Helping Hand Thunderclap. Helping Hand Thunderclap is the sauce. I swear, one of these days they're gonna fake out my Fluttermane. This is my answer to Incineroar. Bye, Incineroar. And one of these days they're gonna see it coming and fake out the Fluttermane. It is Snarl. That is really annoying. But we're trading positively. We are trading positively. And you being Fairy Terra makes this so much easier for Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond appreciates that so much. Oh, it's the unrivaled Rillaboom. Nice. Bye. Ooh, do I still need Flutter? Can I trade it here? I might be allowed to trade Fluttermane at this point. And they gave me Grass, so I have priority. Yeah. Uh, yeah, last minute I changed my mind. This might be a bad play, though. This may have been a mistake. Okay, it's just a snarl. Torkoal's now at minus two, not gonna do any damage. And they would hammer. Ow. Oh, and I timed out and clicked Eruption. Oh, did I crit? Alright, that's cool. I'll take that. That's awesome. Thank you, the thank you, timeout. I didn't know Eruption was the play. I didn't know I was gonna crit the other guy. Okay. They got to be terrified of this Ivy Cudgel. Their swap into Ivy Cudgel is Urshifu, maybe? Ivy Cudgel. Bring in for Rigoraf so they can't like glide and thunderclap and stuff. I don't know if that's what they're going for here. They and Torkoal swapped out first, so their Rillaboom is staying in. No, they're just attacking. This could be a Dragon Pulse or a Draco Meteor or something now into the Ogre Pond. Yeah. Well, a lot of the damage is already done. And Fluttermane is back in a great position. The way they targeted that, I wonder if it's actually gonna be Amoongus last? Who's that, Chen Pao? Ah, oh, nice. Double Dazzle, yeah? That's their whole team revealed. Torkoal is mostly useless. It's gotta be Double Dazzle. It could be Helping Hand Moonblast. It could be Helping Hand Moonblast. No, I think it's Double Dazzle. Ah, they did Protect. Helping Hand Moonblast might have been the play. 
But what are you gonna do? You're gonna Thunderbolt Fluttermane, yeah? Ooh, that almost did it. And that did do it. Excellent. So now, not to get sucker punched, I need both Sun and Ferrigraph on the field. Am I about to lose Sun? No. Oh yeah, one more turn of Sun. Just what I needed. Excellent. Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam. Okay, Ash. Chen Pao Bolt, Amoongus, Water Pond, Incineroar, Fluttermane. Just really boring stuff. Just really, really boring stuff. How do I handle that boring stuff? Is it Torkoal or Ferrigorath? They've got quite a bit of priority. I like Fluttermane for Rigorath. Incineroar plus Amoongus could be annoying. Or if they lead with Ogre Pond and use Follow Me. My own Ogre Pond seems great here. Except for their Bolt. But I need a Grass type. And then for their Bolt, I mean, I already have Fluttermane and for Rigorath. Ooh, I'm not setting Sun. Is Ogre Pond still good without Sun? Or do I bring Torkoal? Because I could always do a Trick Room Sweep. I am bringing Ferrigraph on lead. Not having Rillaboom feels awkward. But there are a few things that Rillaboom can't handle. Incineroar, Chen Pao. Even Bolt is like, it's hard. Put wo I put High Horsepower on for that, but it, it doesn't do a ton. Oh, no Trainer Card? What? Man, do you even play this game? Do you even like Pokemon? Oh no, it's Crinealato. <laughs> well, without the sun, we don't know speed tears. I'm still gonna Terra Fairy Moonblast with a helping hand. That's the sauce that beats Incineroar. And with Ogre Pond in the back, I need to beat Incineroar. Fluttermane shouldn't be able to get any KOs on its own. But there's stuff like... Assault Vest Incineroar might live this. Helping Hand Incineroar plus a Terra Fairy Moonblast could probably knock out my Fluttermane. Terra Poison... Terra Blast Fluttermane could probably knock out my Fluttermane. That'd be weird. And that's either not happening or I'm faster. If they don't Terra, they can't knock me out. And my helping hand came out first. So they're not doing it. Okay, and I am just confirmed faster. And their Incineroar is Assault Vest. Just knock out the Ferrigorath, please. Oh lord. Well, that's a trade. And that's not a good trade. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. You're presumably locked down to Dazzling Gleam. Because you did how much to Ferrograph? Almost half? With just Dazzling Gleam? Yeah, you're Spexed. I could Ogre Pawn. I could Trick Room. Depending on what they bring in here. Don't like that. Ivy Cudgel there. Ivy Cudgel with no boost doesn't just knock out Fluttermane though. Oh, 
This is a bad position. Assault Vest Incineroar, man. What can you do? Maybe you're a really slow Fluttermane and I outspeed you. No. Uh, maybe you can't knock out Farigura from here? Maybe your last bring is an absolute throw? Somehow? You do knock out the Farigura. I mean, at least I have Torkoal. Setting up the sun. And you have Chen Pao last. Ooh. I don't see Sucker Punch or Thunderclap coming. But I do see an Icicle Crash into Ogre Pond and a Thunderbolt into Torkoal coming. On my way to survive and beat that is... Helping hand Ivy Cudgel. With the defense drop, maybe this does it with a crit. First of all, I have to live the icicle crash. Well, that didn't happen. Dodge it! Get out the way! Good lord! Okay, good game. Salt Vest Incin I knew a Salt Vest Incineroar had to happen eventually. And there it is. Okay, and J11, whatever that means. Amoongus Registeel Incineroar, Raging Bolt Fluttermane, and Water Pond. Does Registeel knock out my Fluttermane in one hit? Yes, it do. That's terrifying. Why am I leading these two? Do I have a good reason to lead these two? Yes, I do. To threaten <laughs> the Regis deal. Uh, a heavy slam coming in needs to be something for Bolt to take. Or maybe Ogre Pond. It's gotta be Bolt. I need the special damage. Now, Ogre Pond's good too, so is Rillaboom. Probably Ogre Pond. It can threaten a lot of things. I could get in trouble against their Bolt, though. But, but I'm not bringing for Rigoraph. I'm bringing a lot of the things that can hit Bolt. Yeah, that's the way I see it. Oh boy. Registeel. Registeel's scary. Oh, they got a, they got a dead okie dokie there. Oh no, what happened to him? Did he eat, eat some bad mochis? Oh no. Incineroar and Raging Bolt. That is a very interesting lead. I'm a little bit terrified. Because they want to eliminate my Fluttermane and they might be able to. Should I instead eliminate their bolt? Bolt could just protect. After one Assault Vest Incineroar just living this combo, it's got me losing a little bit of confidence in it. Because this is committing hard. They send out Incineroar, I click these buttons, and it either works or it doesn't work. 
still waiting for the day they fake out the Fluttermane. Oh, that's good. Okay. Now I can't get punished by you att by by that knocking me out in return, but I could get pun punished by this living. It doesn't. That's great. That is the perfect turn one. We've done it. Now let's not fumble. Uh, now we've got an Amoongus to deal with. Great. I could swap in Ogre Pond. It would be immune to Spore. I could just Moonblast here. And Flamethrower here. That way if they try to Rage Powder, they get hit by a strong... By, by the flamethrower, unless Thunderbolt knocks out Torkoal, which I don't think it would. <clears throat> yeah, I think I have to keep the pressure up. I think that's what I need to do, is keep up the pressure. They do Rage Powder. And even if they knock out Torkoal, that just gets me into my Ogre Pond, which is nice. Oh, that was good damage, too. Wow. And just Dragon Pulse? That shouldn't knock out. Yeah, 15 HP. Yes, Torkoal. Good job. And they're down to their final two. Two Pokemon remaining. This combo is the sauce. This shreds. And it's Registeel. We have, Rag we have Raging Bolt in the back for that. Um, Heavy Slam Thunderbolt would get punished by a moon blast. They heavy slam protect. I don't want to overcommit. I could bring bolt in hard here. I could get punished by a Protect Heavy Slam. They Terra Water to take the Fire move. They Protect their Bolt, and they Heavy Slam eliminating my Flutter Mane. Hmm, mm hmm, okay. Well, can't get them all right. Decent damage, though. Now I bring in my Raging Bolt. Which is hopefully faster than their Raging Bolt. But either way, they have Dragon Pulse. Two turns of sun. I'm not stalling that out. I am faster, that's great. And Pulse takes it out, we're good. We are so good. Whew, that should be good game. Yeah, set up your iron defense, it's fine. You're about to take the biggest thunderbolt of your career. Good game. Yeah, that's a forfeit. That's definitely a forfeit there. Whew! I like this fast raging bolt. Okay, Gouging Fire, King Gambit. That's a scary combo. They've also got Chen Pao, Amoongus, Water Pond, and a Fluttermane of their own. <sighs> In practice, I beat this by losing Fluttermane turn one. And it doesn't feel good. 
I don't really have a feel-good way to handle that, though. I mean, Fluttermane Torkoal... It's pretty good. I don't get anything against Flutter Torkoal. And if I can use Flutter Coal to eliminate specifically the Gouging Fire, my grass types can go crazy. If Gouging Fire is gone, my grass types go crazy. Not a fan of Sucker Punch. They got a couple of those. This could also be a set Trick Room and use Torkoal game. But I know they're going to bring Gouging Fire. My team screams, bring a fire type. I really, I was, tr I was trying to fit Walking Wake onto this team for that. It didn't work out. Oh, that's cool. That's so spooky. Arr, 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 arr. Okay, Gouging Fire and Chen Pao. That's really spooky. Alright, Chen Pao is faster than Torkoal, good to confirm that. Mm-hmm. Our Protosynthesis activates first, very good to confirm that. Except it's not, because there's no- Gouging Fire would never be as fast as this, as this Fluttermane. I don't think that's physically possible. Wish me luck! I pretty much have to do this! I have no choice. I really wish people would respect the Ferrigraph potentially being in the back, but in my experience, they do not. Ferrigraph does not work in Team Preview the way it should. Ah oh, yes, a Chen Pao Protect. If this gets the knockout, we are golden. And I think it does mostly? Yeah! Uh! Yes! Get out of here! <clears throat> Fantastic. That's a huge lead. Okay, now it's King Gambit. Time to click the eruption button. And Moonblast Chen Pao, I guess? They have no swap in for Moonblast and Eruption. Rillaboom, Ogre Pond. They still have Terra. King Gambit might use it. Though lately they've been a lot of Dragon. Moonblast into the Chen Pao. And just click Eruption. My intention with Torkoal is, if I survive, to be able to do one damage to the Chen Pao. Terra, it is Terra Dragon. So they're confident that Fluttermane's going away, huh? I could have Moonblasted that. Double Sucker Punch play. Oh, it's gonna get it! Oh, it's gonna get it! Oh no, Fluttermane! Nobody be respecting the Ferrigraph swap! Man. Okay. That makes that King Gambit a lot harder to handle. That was good damage, though. Okay. Here's a maybe weird play for you. Fake, I'm gonna fake out King Gambit and erupt again. They absolutely could eliminate my Rillaboom from the field. But I got the grass set. King Gambit protect! Oh, wow! Good golly! And Ice Spinner get rid of my terrain? 
Oh, wow. That's rough. Good read. Good read, man. This per- they're, they're so bold. They are so bold. Terra Dragon in the face of Fluttermane. Leaving their Chen Pao unprotected like that. Wow. Well, it seems they know I target the threat. Now they've got Fluttermane. Speed Protosynthesis. You wouldn't be Booster Energy. You're gonna lock into Shadow Ball. Su Do you Sucker Punch? When I could use Follow Me Eruption? Well, you don't know that I can't use Follow Me Eruption. This is my only play. If they if they read it, and they have been reading my plays, if they read this, they got it. Oh, it's just a Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Tell me this kills. Tell me this kills. That doesn't kill. Okay, I lost. Good game. Oh, they doubled Torkoal. Does this help me? They have to gleam. They would gleam and sucker punch. I don't know, it's not looking good. Yeah, they do Sucker Punch. Oh, and that takes both. Good game. Good game, King Gambit. Getting every read right. Almost. Good game. Or, 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 or. Okay, Entei, Chen Pao, Flutter, Urshifu, Raging Bolt, and Whimsicott. Seems like a good game for Torkoal, as long as we can get Entei out of the way. Oh, they also have Bolt, though. How do we get Entei out of the way? Raging Bolt? Raging Bolt's good against Entei. Raging Bolt Torkoal? They would instantly snarl us. Ogre Pond seems pretty good, too. Is it Ogre Pond Torkoal? That's crazy. So crazy. It just might work. Okay, how about Raging Bolt Torkoal? Ogre Pond. And then a Fluttermane in the back. Not even going for Trick Room. Uh, Grassy Glide is nice, but Rillaboom isn't. Rillaboom is not the one. Thunderclaps are only priority, so if Whimsicott sets up Tailwind, they'll go first. They get to go first if they really want to. But they didn't make a trainer card, so what do I care? They're not even cool. You may win, but you're not cool. I suddenly remembered why Farigaraph is a good thing to bring. <laughs> Okie dokie. The plan doesn't change. I still need to eliminate Entei. Entirely. So I'm going to put everything I can into doing that. 
I think this lead is scary enough for the Chen Pao that they might not throw an ice move immediately. But they could. They could be like, I don't really care about Torkoal, I'm gonna use my Sash right now, and I'm just throwing Ice Spinner. But if I get this off, it'll do so many damage. So many. Show me a Protect Chen Pao. Yeah! Yeah, we like to see that. And a Stomping Tantrum? That's gonna hurt. But we eat. I don't think you eat this. Let's find out. Yeah, you don't eat that. All right. Yeah. It cost us most of our Raging Bolt to do that. But I think that's a good trade, because what we have in the back Sucker Punch the Bolt and Thunderbolt me. Ice Spinner the Bolt. I badly want to get some chip on that Chen Pao. Maybe I throw mm. Thunderclap at it. I'm gonna just throw single target moves. They, there's a chance they can knock out both of my mods. Which is a, oh, I should have clapped it. Aw, oh, man, you didn't go for Sucker Punch. Ah. At least show me that Torkoal lives. Show me I can live this Thunderbolt. I do, that's good, that's really good. Biggest fear is Fluttermane getting hit by double priority. They also have Terra remaining on their bolt. Spiky Shield will prevent them from using Ice Spinner on Ogre Pond. Then I probably lose Torkoal. They didn't protect their Chen Pao. They did go for Sucker Punch smartly. <gasps> they doubled it! Aw, oh, yeah! Free hit. <clears throat> Is Swords Dance worth it? I could see them doubling it again, and Sucker Punch will fail that time. That's risky, but I'm, I'm willing to risk it here. Because that would really help me get through Bolt, too. Mm, they know I can't Spiky Shield again, they could just Ice Spinner. I don't know, this is a hard one. They're terastalizing. They're Chen Pao? Into Stellar. Is this gonna be the powerfulest ice spinner in the whole world? Yikes. Thunderclap fails. But they get an ice spinner. Ogre Pond lives. Amazing. Now, my ways around Thunderclap are not incredibly numerous. But I have 
I don't know, I have two extremely low health mons and a Fluttermane. And they have a Fluttermane. Their Fluttermane might be slower. Their Fluttermane is definitely slower than my Fluttermane. Sun is gone though. I want Sun gone. Sun being gone means my Fluttermane... Well, my Fluttermane's faster than your Fluttermane anyway, but you lose your special attack. <laughs> my Fluttermane should be able to knock yours out with a Shadow Ball. Oh, but your booster energy... Mm. That means you could have Protect. It's a very spooky situation to be in. Dazzling Gleam plus Thunderclap might take my Fluttermane. I need to hit their Fluttermane. Even if they protect here, I think this is the right play. Now that Sun's gone, they lose their special attack boost, so the Thunderclap might not be a two-shot now. Very scary scenario. Props on you for using uh, Stellar Terra, though. I was trying to work Stellar Terra in, maybe on this Fluttermane, but the defensiveness of the Terra has helped a lot. Okay. They didn't protect, they just thunderclapped the Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond, you may not have done much damage, but you did a lot. Get the KO, get the KO, get the KO, get the KO. Yeah! Alright. Now it comes down to whether Shadow Ball will knock you out. Actually, I don't know if it does. I kind of wanted that Ivy Cudgel damage. Ooh, that did nothing! But that also didn't do enough. We have to thunderclap. I live on four! Come on, Fluttermane! Yes! Yes! Woo! Four HP! <laughs> Good game! Ugh. Whew! Nice. Okay, we're fighting regular Ursaluna, Cresselia, Amoongus, Incineroar, Urshifu, and Fluttermane. This seems like a job for Fluttermane for Rigorath. Helping Hand, Terra Fairy, Moonblast, destroy their Incineroar immediately. They get up Trick Room, because they really want it, and then we bring in Torkoal. Sounds cool with me. And then finally, we bring in... Raging Bolt is not bad. I'm gonna use Fairy Tarot turn one, probably. It'd be good to have something for the Amoongus. So it's probably my Ogre Pond, but Rillaboom could work too. Rillaboom's a little better against their bear. They don't have any priority blocking. I could get a Fake Out turn. Ogre Pond can actually kill an Amoongus, which is also important. Mm, better versus Bear or better versus Amoongus? I'm more scared of Amoongus. <clears throat> I've lost too many matches to sleep. I'd rather stay awake this time. And no trainer card. You got VGC in your name, you're, you're apparently trying to be somebody, but... <clears throat> but you didn't make a trainer card. Intimidate first. Are you gonna have a booster energy? Nope. 
Yikes. I don't know if they're even trying to set Trick Room. Could this be an Assault Vest Incineroar? I don't know. Most of them are not. So I have to count on what... Hmm? There's this faster. Good to know. Theirs is faster. Their Fluttermane is going first. Or we speed tie. I'm a fairly fast Fluttermane. I've been faster than most of the Fluttermanes I've seen. So it's strange to see one even faster. I guess you could just be max speed. Might even mean you're sash. Let's see what this Dazzling Gleam does before I say. Oof. That feels specs to me. I need 134 damage to Farigarat. Incineroar is gone. Good. Good, good, good. being faster than my Fluttermane is bad. But I can live the other Dazzling Gleam with my Farigarath. I have in the back are pretty nice too. Whether they set Trick Room or not. Helping Hand would be a waste. I'm gonna try to set Trick Room myself. Now, if that ends up reversing their Trick Room, that's just a funny one. Does that do it? It does do it. Yikes. Well, that's scary. But we've got two fire types in the face of a Dazzling Gleamer now. And your Incineroar is gone. And you already burned Terra. This might be okay. You're gonna get a speed boost because you're so fast. No, eruption's stupid. Flamethrower, Cresselia, Ivy Cudgel, Fluttermane. Yeah, we'll take the Dazzling Gleam. It'll hurt like heck. Uh, didn't do half. Fluttermane gets deleted, and then Cresselia can take a flamethrower. They're gonna set Trick Room. Interesting. Do you think that's the thing to do in front of my Torkoal? One of these has to hit her Saluna, right? Ooh, a crit almost KO'd it. Oh, they have Earthquake. 
Ogre Punt lives on three. That's not gonna be enough to take a Psychic. Oh man. Good game. Good clutch live, Ursaluna. From a crit, too. Alright, we're back. You made it. If you made it this far through the video, you probably liked it, so why don't you help me out by leaving a like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, there's the rental code for you. Try this team out if you like it. And I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.